One of my favorite things to grow in the garden is broccoli. Nothing tastes quite as wonderful as fresh broccoli right out of the garden. So it is very easy to grow, at least it is in my garden. And I have a patch that is about 20 or 24 plants in there. A couple of cauliflower also. But um, one of the great things about broccoli is you get these huge crowns of broccoli for the first harvest. And then they will continue to let off little shoots, like little florets, that as long as you keep them picked, they will um, yield mostly all through the summer. If you can battle the caterpillars that get in it, which bother me, but broccoli can go for, you know, for a couple months in your garden if you keep it up, keep up on harvesting it. So um, after the broccoli grows, it's a cool crop. So you want to get it in the ground fairly early which here in Northwest Indiana tends to be mid-April. This year we were behind, spring was just cold, so this was the very beginning of May. And I usually plant plants, although you can do seeds, as, do seeds if you prefer to do that too. And after, when they're ready to be picked, you wanna get them before they completely open up and start to flower. So this broccoli right here is definitely ready to harvest. And so you want to look for ones that are like that, not too tightly packed, but they're just, you know, looking green like you'd find in the grocery store. And I just take a knife and you just want to cut right under the crown. You'll be able to see where it is from the stem. Cut it right off. And you have this beautiful crown of broccoli. Okay, after you've picked your broccoli, you need to do something with it and you can eat it fresh, it's delicious. You can store it in a Ziploc bag in your refrigerator and it'll stay, you know, stay nice for a couple to several days. Um, but if you have a lot, you're gonna wanna preserve it. And the way that we like to eat it is just frozen broccoli. So I'm gonna show you how we freeze it. And you get it and you can rinse it off and look for obvious caterpillars in there, unfortunately. If you don't spray especially, you're probably gonna have some of those in there. Um, pick off what you see and then I just will cut it into florette sizes that we like to eat so however whatever kind of pieces you like to eat your broccoli just go ahead and prepare it and I get it in a bowl once you've got your broccoli cut into the pieces that you like then you're gonna make a brine to soak it in which is going to get all the other little bugs and insects caterpillars out of it so the ideal solution is a cup of salt to a gallon of water so you want it to be well, you know, high, way over the broccoli. And then you put something on top to weight it down so that it holds that broccoli under the water so that brine gets in there really well. You want to let that soak for around a half hour. While you're letting your broccoli soak, get a pan of hot water boiling because you're going to want to blanch the broccoli. After your broccoli is soaked in that brine for about a half hour, um, you want to rinse it off really well. So I grab a couple handfuls and I like to really, really rinse it to shake loose anything that that may not have gotten out. So I'll just rinse it really well and drain it and set it off to the side before I boil it. So once you have your water boiling, you're going to blanch your broccoli for three minutes with this size pieces. If you have big, big crowns of it, then maybe do four minutes. And once that timer is done in three minutes, I'm going to put it into some ice water, let it sit in there for a couple minutes to cool it down so that it stops cooking. And then I'm going to put it in my strainer here, let it drain before we get ready to pack it in our vacuum bags. Okay, so the timer went off, so I'm just going to put it into the ice cold water and let it sit for about the same time that it blanched, two, three minutes. My favorite way to freeze is using this Food Saver vacuum sealer. Um, I think it keeps them great. We've just finished eating broccoli that was from last year. So it does a great job keeping the stuff fresh. But if you don't have one, you can still use just plain Ziploc bags. Um, so that's not a big deal, but I'm gonna show you how, how I package it. Um, I like to do about a handful, a decent sized handful for each person in our family. And that's how much I will freeze. And there are three of us, so I'm going to make three servings and then maybe a little bit extra in my bag. And then vacuum sealer is very cool. It just sucks all the air out and it does a great seal on the bag when it's done. So, 
seals it up and then we'll keep it packed together so it stays fresh and doesn't get freezer burnt and I will have a freezer full of delicious broccoli. So I hope that helps you out and helps you keep your broccoli harvest for the whole year so that you can enjoy it. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos.